Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I show you how to create a full backup on Windows 11. Full backup is among the best ways to protect your existing folders and files from hardware failures, upgrade problems, and malware attacks. If you do not have a proper backup, you are always at risk of losing your files, including photos and documents. You can always use third-party local and cloud solutions, but Windows 11 still comes with the backup and restore feature that includes an option to create a system image of the entire system to an external storage. A system image is considered a full backup because it includes a mirror copy of your Windows installation, as well as your settings, applications, and most importantly, your files. So, in simple steps, I'll show you a full backup of all your customized settings, apps, files, and operating system setup files using the backup and restore feature. First, search for control panel, and when the search results appear, click on it. After opening the control panel, make sure that view by is on category. Then, click on system and security. Then, click the file history setting. Then, click the system image backup option from the bottom left corner. Then, click the Create a System Image option, from the left navigation pane. Wait a few seconds for the system image to be ready. You have three choices for where to store the system image. The first is on the same hard disk, the second you can store on DVD, and the third you can save to a network location. I will choose the hard disk because it is available to me now. Then click the Next button. The main drive will be selected automatically. You can add any drive to include it in the backup. Then click the next button. Then click the start backup button. Once you click on the button, it will start taking a backup. And it may take a lot of minutes, depending on the size of the data. You can continue working during this process. After the backup is finished, click the no button. In the end, Click on the close button, and once you are done, you now have system backups on the drive. Go to the location of the backup copy on the hard drive. You can move it to another drive or store it in a safe place. The size of the backup depends on the size of the data that was backed up. If you do not have enough space to back up your computer, keep it on your computer's hard drive. You can transfer the backup copy to an external hard disk and keep it and use it whenever you need it. Now, I will talk about the second part, which is how to restore the backup. You can use the restore if the device fails or if you are upgrading the system drive, you can use a previous backup to restore the installation of the device. Now, I will talk about the second part, which is how to restore the backup. You can use the restore if the device fails, or if you are upgrading the system drive, you can use a previous backup to restore the installation of the device. If the backup was on an external hard disk, connect it to the computer, and if it was on a hard disk, I will start the restore steps immediately. Before that, make sure that the computer is connected to an uninterruptible power source. If you are using a laptop, make sure it is connected to a power source. Restart the computer if it is open, or start the computer. If the computer is off, you must connect USB bootable drive startup prompt, with Windows 11 inside in order to boot. After that press any key to continue, as if you are going to install Windows 11 again. The Windows setup page will appear, click the next button. Then, click the repair your computer option, from the bottom left corner of the screen. Then, click on the Troubleshoot option. Then, click the System Image Recovery option. Then, click on Windows 11 option. On the Ray Image Your Computer page, 
select the use the latest available system image option and use the select a system image option to restore an older version of the setup if applicable then click the next button then click the next button click the finish button then click the yes button immediately after that the recovery process will start the recovery time will depend on the amount of data and hardware configuration of the device the device may be missing some updates which means it's a good idea to open settings windows update and click the check for updates button to update the system and drivers after completion click on the restart now button windows will then start working again with the backup you created it's always a good idea to periodically back up your computer to have a fresh copy to revert to if the unexpected happens, such as system, or hardware failure, malware, ransomware, or hacker attacks. Just remember that this feature has been designed to recover the whole system, not individual files. Also, you have to be proactive in creating backups, because you can only recover until the last backup. Anything after the backup won't be recoverable. I hope the video is useful to you, thank you for watching, and I hope subscribe to my channel, thank you all.